Siento, por favor. <risa> Qué linda mujer. Oh, so sí. Wow. Clean up pretty well yourself. Is that why you asked me out tonight? Because I clean up? I just figured, since you no longer require my services as an attorney, we could get to know each other on a more personal level. Forgive me, but I'm not sure I believe you. <laughs> what other reason would I have? I don't know. Sometimes people get bored, they want to put on a show. Maybe, uh, maybe you know, try to mend a broken heart. Sometimes people are trying to run away from uh, somebody else, you know. Am I getting warm? So how did I screw up your life now? Can we please leave? Oh, you can't even be in the same room with it's me? It's not you. It's that dark cloud that follows you around. You know, the one that rains pain and misfortune on everyone who comes close. Okay, first of all, you really should see someone about those visions. And second, not everybody feels that way about me. Your mother is a very sweet person, but she doesn't know the real you. <laughs> I really don't need to be ragged on by some lonely ice cream. Who came up to who in the cafe tonight? Look, it's who not my fault that? that your blind date got a load of what you're like and took off. You know, you should really try to hit the heavy bag. It doesn't talk back. It might help you tone up those arms, too. <laughs> you see that? That's what I mean. Like he, like he, like he's so perfect. Why are you yelling at me about this? I don't. You're right. I'm not gonna let him get away with that. Hank, good to see you. You too, Pat. Hi, hon. How's Matthew? Well, he was doing uh, pretty good when we left him. Huh, was he really? Oh, yeah, yeah. He uh, kicked us out when the physical therapist showed up, said he could handle it on his own. Listen, boy, I can't tell you how sorry I am about this. Well, thanks, Hank. Me too. You know, Hank, uh, it's been a long while since Matthew has seen you, and visiting hours are not over yet. Maybe it would do him a world of good if oh, you dropped... Oh, I drop... don't think Matthew is going to take any visitors today. I really, maybe tomorrow. That, that would be great, tomorrow. Okay, Nora, whatever you want. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, well, you're going to stay with us, right? Well, look, I don't want to be... No, no, way... you're not. I'm going to go make your room right now, right now. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. All righty, then. So, there's just one thing we need to talk about. Hmm? Nora and Clint? Uh-huh. No. No. <laughs> don't, don't even go there. Nora, Nora, could yeah. we talk for a minute? Oh, Clint, I got a gazillion things I gotta do. I know that, and I'd like to take some of them off your hands. Oh, that's sweet. You can't. I, I really... It's better if I stay busy. I can't. Nora. What? Nothing. It's... What am I doing wrong? Grab the doors, will you? Sure. Is this uh, about the Granger and Halperin murders? Yeah, and the attempt on Blair. I, uh, I think what I'm doing here links it all together. John, this is still an open police case, and you are not a cop anymore. I know, I know Fish, and I'd run it by Bo, but I think he's got his hands full with Matthew. Look, I know that I've done things for you in the past that haven't exactly been by the book, but I just started back, and I really need this job. Two people are dead already, Fish. Blair nearly became the third. All right, so where do we start? We start with Manning. If it isn't your ex-husband, did you know he would be here? I had no idea. Mm. Todd, enjoying an evening out? Yeah. <clears throat> Got a lot of time on my hands since you decided to help Blair steal my kids. She's very good at her job until she stabs her client in the back. Watch out if I... Oh, Ray's not my client anymore, either. He's my date. Run away. <laughs> so, I'm here for one of two reasons. Either you want me to help you get over the guy, or you just want to make him jealous. So you like Manning for these killings? No, but I'm not ready to rule him out either. Well, I thought he had alibis. All right, well, for argument's sake, let's go over that. Two of his alibis stink, and he doesn't have one for Blair. He was actually in the house when she was stabbed. It's not like he's not capable of murder. 
You don't take hints too well, do you? I said no deal. You didn't even negotiate. I'm not interested. Now go stalk somebody else. Or this little incident will be etched in my memory so indelibly that if I were to be questioned by the authorities, I'd have no problem remembering every last detail. It's your loss. And Manning had reasons for wanting all three victims dead. Well, Lee Halpern, because her testimony could have put him away. Granger mm -hmm. for fighting with him. And for shacking up with Marty. Yeah, but why his ex-wife? Blair told him he would never get custody of the kids. They had a big fight about it about an hour before she was stabbed. When Dorian found Blair, she looked up. Manning was standing right there. Well, what does Manning have to do with the letters that the killer left with the victims? Maybe he's trying to send us a message. Well, that sounds more like a serial killer. Yeah, it does. All right, well, what are you trying to say? That Todd Manning has turned into a serial killer? I'm snapping at you, and I'm sorry. No, Nora, believe me, I get it. You are going through hell along with my brother, and I hate to see the both of you in such pain. Well, we'll be fine. No, you don't always have to be fine. Yes, we do, we do. We have to be fine so that Matthew is. And how are you doing that? Obsessing over the construction and keeping your feelings bottled up. That's not what I'm doing. Well, it seems that way to me. Well, I'm not. I just, I just, <laughs> I just let it all out with Hank just now, blubbering all over him. I talk to Bo four or five times a day. Good. I'm glad that you're talking to somebody. Oh, Clint. What is it that you want me to, do you, you want me to, call you when I'm having these moments, these meltdowns? I mean, I, I don't plan them. They just happen suddenly. But if you want, I'll, I'll, I'll call you if I start feeling a meltdown coming on. Call, yeah. For you, my phone is on 24 seven. Oh God, I just went. I've just been nonstop. I'm working with contractors. I've got nursing home. I have rehab facilities. I have to be talking to, to teachers and all. Oh, yes, ah, I have a job. Yeah, and I want to take some of that off of you. I know, but you can't, you see? Because Matthew is my responsibility. And I just, I, I have to set my priorities and some things are just going to go by the wayside. Like me. Nora, is that what you want? You want me to get out of your way? Can't you read? It says men only out there. Do you see any men in here? I don't. That's because I'm leaving. I don't think so. You feel that right there? Now that is a toned arm. I wish I could say the same for your little chicken legs. I don't have chicken legs. Oh, please, you're just like every other pumped up gym rat. 200 pounds of pecs, delts, and biceps walking on those itty bitty toothpicks. You know, I'm really surprised that you haven't collapsed on your own weight. Get out. Hell no. I'm just starting to have some fun.